Reseller Clickbait Podcast, episode 31. What's up? This is Jimmy Old School Flips with Ken SSK Promo, as always. Hey, Jimmy. How you how you doing this week? How, how's things going? I think you know. I think, you know. Uh, I, I think, I, think I might know. So, something's a brewing. Something's got me a little irritated. Is that the word? Irritate, irritated. Ir- irritated. But I like yes. to say irritated. It's got me a little... <laughs> upset uh oh uh oh i feel like i sh- i want to say one of those things like where well, i'm as mad as a something something and a something something but i don't know one right now don't yeah, i can't come up with one of those one what right is that like, i'm not one of those i'm not that quick you know people like i don't have my own saying like that you know or like there's people that use those sayings like that all the time right yeah and they, so they have like a hundred of them stored in the old memory bank i don't have one but i feel like i want to say i'm as mad as a What's what what's what's got you upset? I, I, I have a pretty good idea, but uh I wanna let you spill the beans here first. Spill the beans. Yes. There's this other uh podcast. You might have heard of it. Trash to cash podcast. I've heard of those guys. Oh, quite the hot topic over there. They you had, were uh, yeah, they had, they yeah. had some things to say about me. They were uh they were questioning your clickbait thumbnail skills right is what was going on yeah i could care less when they talked about the fact that i made a mistake on a return and lost money and (laughs) i was more upset when they questioned my ability to make a thumbnail that is clickbait yes i i I think we got some good clickbait thumbnails so we're gonna we're gonna you know, not just because of those guys, but we're gonna we're gonna change up the game a little bit, oh, yeah. and uh, we now, might we might find ourselves uh, a little bit of a throwdown here, a bit of a brawl, be, if you will. Yeah. yeah, I I referenced Anchorman when they get in the Anchorman fight. Now, no, no, <laughs> no, no hitting in the face or the hair, right? Or whatever he says. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I used to be able to quote that movie so well. but um, Got to keep your head on a swivel when yeah. you find yourself in a vicious cockfight like that, Jimmy. It jumped up a notch, didn't it? It, it did. <laughs> it it did, really did. It? For those of you that haven't seen Anchorman, we're just quoting Anchorman. Uh, Jimmy <laughs> killed a guy with a trident. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. <laughs> you may be wanted for murder. Yeah, it's you might want uh, to find yourself a safe house. <laughs> lay low for a lay little bit. For a while. Yeah, um, I think uh I think it's on when they start questioning. Well, hold on, I gotta clarify something. Happen. Yes. We're talking about the little one, the little guy, Dave. Tiny, tiny Dave. Tiny Dave. I think they're casting him as tiny Tim. Tiny, tiny Dave. Tim. They're changing the name because of him. That was a terrible <laughs> joke. Um and I'm gonna even say Carrie. Which yeah, I never thought I would be mad at Carrie, but Carrie, he was making fun of he, the thumbnails too. He just like he would jump like right Kevin, on board. Let's be clear, Kevin. While Kevin had a problem with some of my return issue, which again yes. I could care less about that, but Kevin didn't make fun of my clickbait ability. So we're gonna leave Kevin out of this. I mean, Kevin is by far the best member of that podcast by far oh by far by far so i mean we're gonna leave him out of that commonwealth kevin we're not gonna yes. we're not gonna involve him in the brawl unless he wants some get it then oh if he, hey if he then wants jump, if kevin. he wants a piece of this he's got it <laughs> yeah. i'm telling you right so now you yeah look look, look yeah. no whole bard right now we're going it, all it, it is it is on yeah mean? carrie carrie was just jumping in and you know on dave you know dave's dave started this oh, you know he he's got he's got it to you know put this right. on himself but carrie carrie's like that the in that in the bugs bunny cartoons that you know you had the big bulldog and then they had the little yappy dog that was just <laughs> bouncing around behind right, going right. yeah boss yeah boss yeah and but just, that uh, yeah yeah i got you no i got what you're saying i get it now but uh right. so, so yeah we got they got we're gonna, some. We're starting a little uh, turf war with them, even though there's no turf involved. I guess the we're starting a podcast war with them. Yes, it's, it's officially down. declaration of war. You has pro- been 
if you're watching this video or watching this video or listening, go to the YouTube channel and, and you'll see the thumbnail that we came up with. Has you know, it has nothing to do with this show. Well, has nothing to do sure. with this show, but we're we're gonna take this clickbait to a whole nother level. That's right. It's on from Moving here on forward, out. We may we may not get another view, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Moving forward, our thumbnails are gonna have nothing to do with the show <laughs> at all. We're just gonna hey. come up with the most ridiculous clickbait you can imagine. Hey, and you know what we should do? We should bring back that original logo that you designed for the show. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then just start doing like, he caught the big one. Yeah. <laughs> start doing in. fishing, <laughs> fishing tips again. His rod broke. Like, kinda, go back and watch some of those first uh, episodes of the, the clickbait Man podcast. Man attacked by shark while fishing. <laughs> We're going to do some serious podcasts. I mean, some clickbait. I said podcasts. We, yeah. We're never going to do a serious podcast, Jimmy. Never. Don't don't go that far. Whoa, whoa! We'll take your easy. jets. Yeah. So, but uh, so yeah, I I can see where you'd be be a little bit because I mean they, they Dave looked right into the camera and he said, "Sorry, Jimmy, you know nothing about clickbait." That's exactly what. And then Carrie follows up with, uh, "Yeah, like you think because you put a werewolf on your." <laughs> <laughs> Werewolf or Dracula, people are gonna come and watch. I was like, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> I see Frankenstein. All right, I got you. I see where you're coming. All right. And then Kevin's just like not gonna be hey, together. Hey, I was just happy that they knew my name. How about that? But now I, I have I got I don't I'm pretty sure they don't like you, Lou. I'm pretty sure. I'm now, pretty sure they don't like you at all. <laughs> I can, I can, I can tell by the attitude. So this actually, is how you I know did. if Dave or Dave and Carrie like you is they're mean to you. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Yes, it they just, actually love me. I think then at this no, point, they, they don't because they were just oh. had, they were just talking about you on their live right now. Oh uh, yeah, were giving you praise and being super nice to you. They and, were they were showing the Santa beard. They showed some of the footage from last week's episode of the Santa Bear reveal. So because and, they were uh, being nice to you, I think that means they don't like you. Ah. Uh, Sorry. Mm. Okay, well, now it's... Well, maybe I'll start designing some thumbnails. <laughs> and we'll see. <laughs> we might have, like, four thumbnails for every show. Make, we'll just Me keep... and Ken are going to be fighting over thumbnails. <laughs> we'll use mine. No, mine. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, that's that's fun stuff. So look for some fun coming up with that. Yeah. I mean, we got to go after Dave because Dave, oh, was, yes, he started it. for sure. He's, he started he's it all. number America's most wanted. Yeah, he, the, the blow mold mafia is after him. And according to him, we all know there's no blow mold mafia. So why'd you make that thumbnail? That's that's true. Hey, we are the blow, and and we no, we no. almost almost have a new member. Seeing Chris Chris Cage and reseller out there posting some stuff, no. trying to get in the blow mold mafia. We do have to figure out when we tie the blow molds to their ankles and throw them in the water. It's actually going to help them float. <laughs> They're not going to sink to the bottom. I fill all mine with cement, Jimmy. That's <laughs> you know, number one, they stay up in the wind out in the yard, and then they sink really well. That's uh. It's not going to be good for uh, from the back or <laughs> lifting. The back. Okay, uh, that was an easy solution to my problem. I appreciate it. There you go. I, we got I'm that. actually a little bit disturbed how quick you came up with that. <laughs> like for a second, there, folks on the on the on the YouTube, you was like, "No, Jimmy, I fill them with cement." <laughs> <laughs> he was like serious for three. He didn't even hesitate. He knew what he did already. Yeah. Santa Claus sleeps with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man, it's been a good week. Last week's show was fun with the Santa Bear reveal. It's been uh, just been a good, good week. We we got through uh, Cyber Monday. Were your sales good over the over that whole weekend? Put out a video today about it. Oh, that's right. You did have a video, Cyber Monday video. Go check out yeah. Jimmy's channel, Old School Flips. And or was that old on school old school resale? Old school resale. 
old school resale. Help me get to 200. Oh, speaking of 200, help me get that channel to 200. Yes. And then we can speak about 200 over here on the old yeah. uh, reseller clickbait, reseller clickbait podcast. podcast. We're, hey, we're, we're growing. We're growing. We're growing slow. You know, obviously the DOG and me thought we'd be like monetized and, and just raking in the dough by now after 30, episode 30 episodes. But, we uh, don't even have, it was episode 31 and we have. 204 subscribers yeah but it it's fun we got a loyal yeah, dedicated crowd seems so much more valuable when you hear that <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't no, a lot I, of value in the time we've spent <laughs> i i enjoy it i i think that the people that are watching are having fun with it uh yeah. we always get a lot of good a lot of good comments hey well here we go comment of the week we'll throw comment that out right here in the beginning uh, comment right. of the week was fun show guys I think Ken is the best host. We had that uh, discussion, you know, about who, oh, yeah. who, who the best host was. So there was who there was, was the one nice, uh, listener that left that comment. Uh, let me see. That comment was left by SSK Promo. Um, <laughs> That's what, so. That was <laughs> now. I can, I found out I can comment on our own podcast. <laughs> So, but uh, so yeah, comment of the this. week. Look at this, Sonia knocked over my turtles. Uh oh, she's in, now they're in disarray. Toys stacked on a shelf behind me, and all my turtles are falling are, over. And uh -oh. what it was that? funny when she did that, she was really mad because she was trying to get up out of this chair and she. And everything oh over. she hit the, she hit i was gonna say how did she get all the way up there on the top of that shelf but she backed into them yep she backed into it and everything <laughs> she was not very not very happy when that happened <laughs> you need to put like a like a speed bump or one of those little parking parking cement things behind or put it just one of the blow molds you know yeah, filled with cement people. put the blow mold back behind it's, the chair it, it's not far at all so it's, oh okay there's my uh vintage transformer so nice. oh, it's not really vintage then explain that sticker right there buddy what well, i couldn't i couldn't read it in that quick view but it's like a retail sticker from the 80s oh okay it's like yeah like a kb toys or something it's lionel really yeah. oh yeah or li yeah, oh, Lionel. Okay, uh, there we go. It focused. That's definitely an old retail sticker from. Anyway, I don't know why I'm going about that. <laughs> like I'm doing a live and not a podcast. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to you listeners. But uh, yeah, it's uh, just getting really geared up in the Christmas. You know, we're gonna put for right now. We're gonna put all that that the the podcast wars behind us. Yes, yeah, we gotta get back into the spirit of the. Season. And we're gonna get festive. We're gonna get. We're gonna talk Christmas the, the whole show for the whole month. I mean, we got a lot of Christmas talk going on. A lot of a lot of good comments about the movies. If we had watched, uh, you know, we talked about the movies and we kind of did that movie review. Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna continue that. Uh, Janelle had asked if we watched Surviving Christmas. Have you ever seen Surviving Christmas? You know, I was sitting there today trying to watch a Hallmark Christmas movie. Okay. And I realized, like, so that's something you do, right? You just watch all the cheesy. Oh, movies. man. 24-7. Lock I, it in and rip the knob off. I could probably count the Christmas movies that I've watched on t my two hands and not use all my fingers. But I watch them over and over and over again. Oh yeah, the same ones. But uh, yeah, I don't. But I don't. I don't go beyond those though. Like I don't go and oh, watch gotta... other now. Like I've never watched. A, I don't think I've ever watched a Hallmark any of the ones that come on there. Okay. So no, the answer is no. I haven't seen that. And well, again, Surviving Christmas, Surviving Christmas. That's a that was a movie out in the theaters that has uh, Ben Affleck and uh, James Gandolfini. Is in it and uh mm -hmm. what's the mom's name from uh Home Alone? What's that lease? Oh uh what's the actress's name? Sort of the K, doesn't it? Catherine O'Hara. Oh yeah. O'Hare. Yeah, yeah Catherine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
She's in and um Christina Applegate. Oh. Is in it. It's uh that's a great movie. But uh Jimmy, I gave you the task of having a candy cane Christmas candy cane movie review. Well, that's okay. why this is going to be a challenge cuz I just told you that I that don't You only have like five of them. Like five. So we're going to but so this might maybe I'll get my homework done and I'll watch a new movie. And it, hey, it can be any of the any of the ones that you've watched, the five or both hands, if you you know up to ten, that's I mean, okay. It's got to be a movie that you that you like to watch that you can review, and then you're going to let me know what it is, and I'm going to give my opinion on it, and we'll rate this on a on a five candy cane rating. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, I tried to watch the movie today, and I was like, this ain't happening. Not feeling it. Not, it. not feeling it. You got got a zero. It would have got zero candy canes. And I wouldn't be able to decide. <laughs> so I'll work on it. So, have- so what'd you pick for this week for Jimmy's candy cane movie review? All right. So this one's some people would say that this was a, a failure of a movie. Okay. And I actually really, really enjoy this movie. So, so I, I picked and it's this particular version, Jim Carrey does the voice of Ebenezer Scrooge in Disney's A Christmas Carol. It's an animated version of it. Yes. And I'll throw this out. Fun fact. I actually saw that when it first came out, it was in 3D. Yeah. At at the theater. There's a lot. There are scenes in that movie that when you realize they put that in there for the 3D effects. Yeah. I, I, it's funny. It's actually kind of a, funny story because sonia when we're watching it she's like I, you know i like this movie a lot but there's these, these parts that why is that in there yeah and then i was like well that's because this was a 3d movie yes and those scenes are just in there for those and she's like now it makes sense like i was like why is that scene in there and why is it like that and i'm like well it's because they want them the 3d effect to yes. really stand out so anyways uh it would have you ever seen it in 3d I have not i want to yeah, I went I went to the theater when it when it first came out and uh man, it was an awesome movie. Uh cuz The Christmas Carol, that that whole story is yeah. one of my probably my all-time favorite you know, story or Chris well, Christmas story for sure. Uh but uh just the 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 message and the whole thing yeah. and I always debate was okay, was Scrooge a word? before the movie came out or did people just did they start going oh man you're a scrooge because that was so popular when the book came out or was did he use that word because that's what it meant kind of like grinch was Grinch. yeah was the grinch a word so i've always i've always wondered that you know i'm sure google knows and i could look it up if you know throw it in the chat there if uh, Scrooge was yeah, a word have, have before, no or um, so. Yeah, I agree. Like, I love growing up. My mom, one of her favorite movies was um, what Scrooge. Is that what it's called? The one with Scrooge Bill, with Bill Murray. Bill Murray, yeah. And I like that movie. And you should watch the new movie with Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds, then, if you like A Christmas Carol. The Spir- Spirited? Spirited. I think it's, should, called- it's got It's a musical, so it's got some weird... But you should watch that movie if you like A Christmas Carol. I do. I like uh, now. Okay, as here's where I would debate you because that's a great movie, the one with Jim Carrey. However, I'm going. I would go Christmas Carol, but with Patrick Stewart. No, you know way. Captain Picard in the lead role. No, I get it, but there's something weird. No, and I just want to say there's something weird about this the Disney this animated one. Yeah. I absolutely enjoy every second of that movie. I love it. It gets a five. It gets five. Or can I, can I do oh. six? Oh, oh we're, okay. We're, we're doing the, the rating right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Jimmy's giving it one, two, three. Jimmy's got a five, five. candy cane rating candy. for Jim Carrey. That, I should organize these a little better. Jimmy's maybe, going to tape them. You could get the staple gun 
that and, Harry used to staple the death pile pig to his wall. <laughs> you can get that same staple gun and staple those candy canes to like so that they're fanned cold. out. Yeah, I didn't think this through when I when I thought, oh, I'm gonna hold up five candy canes at one time. Oh, oh there we go. go. That works. Five. Can- so here's what I here's what I will say as far as the Patrick Stewart version again is my. Fa- I love the Jim Carrey version. The, yeah. the animated one. I loved it in 3D. Um, there are, yeah, those parts in there that are a little bit odd that they have because they wanted to get that 3D effect. Yeah. But uh, now in the in the, the Patrick Stewart version that came out like in the 90s, I think it was like actually 1990 that it came out, was um, you have to kind of look past a little bit of the special effects that they do because mm-hmm. it just was, you know, it was, yeah. uh, wasn't as, uh, up to, up to par, especially the ghost of Christmas future. I don't know or if I've ghost, ever ghost of that future well. yet to come. Ah, uh, that, that goes, that character is a little bit, a little bigger on the Jakey side, but, um, but yeah, I love his version. And, and the reason I love it so much, I got a, I got a story. Oh, story time, Jimmy. Damn. I always, I always do. It's story time. Even in video, and I interrupt you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so back when that version, because I've always been a Star Trek fan of Patrick Stewart, and that that version came out, but he also narrated that uh, book, like a book on tape. Oh. And so one of the first. Oh, Jill and I had been dating a few years, but she bought for me for Christmas. It was a book on tape and it was actually on tape on two cassette tapes. And that night after Christmas, we always would get together on Christmas Eve and have a big family event at her uncle Rick's house. And then we would do our gift exchange. And so I got that and it's like, that's back when you had a cassette deck in your in your vehicle, actually. And so I listened to that on on the way home, or most of it. I couldn't get it all in. And so that became my Christmas Eve tradition. Every year since 1990, so I don't know how many years that is. 90, I don't know. Somebody else figured it out. We don't 32, do math here. Is it? 32? Okay, so every year for... 32 years, I have listened on Christmas Eve to a Christmas carol narrated by Patrick Stewart. Did you get in your car and drive around with your cassette deck? Well, I I did. Well, <laughs> I have a trip. It's Jill lives about 45 minutes away from me. So I have enough time to listen to it if I start it right when I pull out of the drive and then listen to it on the way home. Sometimes I have to sit in a car in a garage a little bit to finish it out. But, uh, <laughs> so to, one year, you get to rewind the cassette one year. You're not listening to it <laughs> I know you're not I, listening to it on cassette anymore. I hope, or are you? I am not. Well, <laughs> here's, here's some fun, fun stories about that one year, uh, right at, in the beginning of, uh, well, it was actually at the end of November. I hit a deer. And so my truck was in for service during the time of uh, on Christmas Eve. So I had to drive my my folks car over to over to Jill's and they didn't have a cassette player. So I went out and I bought a um, <laughs> like a, a inverter uh, c- inverter thing that yep. you plug into your cigarette lighter so that I could take a big old boom box with me that had a tape player in it and I could play that on a cassette deck in the car (laughs) and that was the only option that i had at that time and uh so i i listened to it on there so when that happened then the next year by then they had they had put it out on cd so for that christmas jill got the cd for me which i'm not sure why they put it out on it was like a two cd set that would obviously fit all on one cd yeah. I'm not sure why they did that just because that's how the cassettes were. They probably just recorded, you know, each cassette. <laughs> they were like two guys like 
older guys that couldn't figure it out. And like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just put two of them in there. <laughs> so now I have, now at this point, I have it downloaded. <laughs> That's great. So, I have it downloaded. Uh, and, you know, it's on my phone and I can just, you know, patch that in and listen to it. And a lot of times, in the Christmas season, I, I'm still listening to it way into January. I just play it over and over and over again because it is one of my my favorite stories. Uh, I have the that version of the movie uh, recorded on my on my DVR, and uh, I think it's been on there since like 2016. Oh. And yeah. and every now and then it could be in the summer or whatever. I just turn it on and I'll watch half an hour of it and go on to something else and I'll come back and pick it up right there. So, yes. So all that to say, because it is one of my favorite stories, I am going to go and I do like the Jim Carrey version and in three D's, I'm going to go four candy canes. What? Four. It's five candy Three. canes. Cause I mean, it's a, it's a good version, but it's not the best version. I disagree. Now I know it's a weird thing. I I get it though. It's a weird thing that I like this movie so much. I I almost can't explain it, but I look forward to watching it just as much as I look forward to watching Christmas Vacation every year. Yeah, that's uh. So yeah. we I want to see in the comments if you like a Christmas Carol, what your favorite version is. Like who's Ooh, your favorite yeah. actor in it? Uh, and if you agree on four candy canes five candy canes maybe maybe you're a two candy cane person on this one i want to know why no, no it actually got really you bad don't like it got a bad like review or whatever like a lot of people thought it was a i mean like a flop because how much they spent on it and everything yeah now i liked it I, and i watch that one i watch that one every year whenever it's on I actually have it on on uh dvd VHS. and uh yeah, the VHS version, the 3D VHS. The 3D VHS. <laughs> which was a rare, you know, you had to have that rare 3D player that um Bolo. That's great. That's a that's a Bolo if you can find one, a 3D VHS. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> like look uh so look, I, I look. like that. That was a good that was a solid a solid pick Ace. out of the gate for That's the like, first uh, movie review. Because you used, me and you used to both be printers, right? You used to print. Yes, did. did there anybody ever have you go look for the paper stretcher? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was a, in our shop, every, all new employees were like, can you go find the paper stretcher? <laughs> Sorry, that's like the 3D VCR. That's the first thing I thought. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good I, one, I, though. I, did, I figured you'd appreciate that one. We would I have do. The, that's... the new employees asking other people. Man, if I were still. paper stretchers back in this corner. Ah, <laughs> uh, you new guys. <laughs> Uh, so top, seasonal tip of the week, oh. Jimmy. Last week, I talked about um, we should get a sponsor for like. You've been trying seasonal. to get a sponsor for. Oh, wait. I know who can be the sponsor. This is I'm going to bring up the old, an old sponsor, the Samsung Galaxy Note. Whatever. It's Galaxy Note 20. <laughs> to, let me find out which thing old is, one this is. <laughs> and the only reason I bring that is because hey, I now I own this one. Oh, you I own just it. got a message the other day when I my current spectrum bill came that the phone is paid off. Nice. And so now I should fall under that just fourteen fourteen dollars a month plan. What that yeah. The the spectrum when I switched over, you know, it's fourteen dollars a month and that's it. There's no no taxes or hidden fees. Um, is it unlimited? It is. The, unlimited two thousand dollars for my phones or something stupid. Not that much, but yeah. And uh, it's five G. If we had five G in my area, I don't. We don't. For some reason, if you look at a coverage map, it's like oh. all around. There's like this one hole in the middle of the coverage. 
and that's where I live. Your house, yeah. And yeah, yeah, just (laughs) right over my house. I can't. You walk into their office, it says Ken's house. (laughs) (laughs) You don't happen to live at Ken's house, do you? Uh, But uh, so the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 sponsor of the week for Ken's seasonal tip. Oh, yeah. Well, so what is it? Okay, so last week my we tip was whole, we got to do the bit now. <laughs> do you ever do you ever remember what the do you even remember what the tip last week was, Jimmy? Or do you ever pay attention at all? I don't remember. You do not. Well, it was if you're, when you're putting up lights, check your lights because oh yeah, the clock even clock. though I had checked my lights, they I plugged in this whole you know three four strands cross fence and four sections of them were out. Now I'm a guy, you know. A lot of times lights are disposable these days but when you've got them all up you don't want to have to take them all down and put new sets so i'm gonna i'm going to say this right here the light keeper light fixing tool right here get one of these for christmas trees for outdoor lights now this works with uh like the mini lights uh this one it's not going to fix a big uh Big, you oh. know, C9 or or C7 so like bulb. Push a button and it walks over and it fixes it. Well, it, it's it's cool. I'll just I'll just show real quick. Okay, so here's the gun and it's got a trigger. And okay, there's a couple things that you can do right here in the front. What you do is you take a bulb out, one oh. of the bulbs out of the strand, and you stick it in there and you pull the trigger. Okay, this has a battery in it, and what it does is it sends an electrical pulse through there because a lot of times when your lights are out. It's just what's called a shunt. It gets a shunt in that line. It's almost like something that blocks up the line. Hmm. And that will push a pulse through there and clear that shunt. Okay. I fixed all four sections of my... Oh, Jimmy's falling asleep. Jimmy... (laughs) I stole that from Dave. I only did that because that's what Dave would do. I apologize. <laughs> that was pretty good though, right? But, but it, I, I'll finish this up though, because this is cool. Because even if okay, hear this. Oh wait, my pacemaker's going off. I can't. It's not beeping because you can also. There's a sensor in the front of this thing uh-huh. that you can go down the the line of your lights, and it'll show you where there's a break in the electrical current. And so you go before, you go after it, and you'll know that someplace in there is a bulb that's bad. And then you can check the bulb in the top here. There's a little thing. You can pull out bulbs and check them. But get yourself a so that's our light sponsor. keeper. That'll be our sponsor. Yeah, it forget that Samsung. That. Sound. You just sold them. You just... <laughs> What's that show where they come on and they... You just shark tank them, man. <laughs> <laughs> you just got them couple more people to invest in them (laughs) now if you're really into christmas decorating like i am now this this the red one right here this one fixes the the older style incandescent lights leds but there's the big led even looks futuristic it does there's led keeper and now it's a little more involved fixing LED lights yeah. than it is. <laughs> right, everybody, get some popcorn. He's going to explain that one. <laughs> no, I'm not. But, pop some yeah. popcorn. He's going to, or bring a pillow over. He's going to explain how that one works. Now, here's here's where here's where all the reselling comes in. Okay. I've had this for like a lot of years because one of my buddies that, that did a lot of, uh, you know, exterior illuminating. He taught me everything I know about exterior illumination. <laughs> Uh, he's like, Hey man, you got to get one of these because, you know, fixing the, fixing the lights. So I'm then that next summer I'm at a yard sale and I see this still brand new in the package guy wants a dollar for it. So naturally I gave him 50 cents for it. (laughs) And I don't know how many light sets that I have fixed or repaired or diagnosed or whatever for my 50 cent. And that was like, Years before I had ever even heard of reselling. So interesting. I was, I've always been a yard sale guy. So anyway, I just picture like you're pulling out your Christmas lights and they have 
electrical tape all up and down them. And <laughs> they, it used to be a multi, like all the colors out of sequence. And <laughs> I, yeah, I take good care of, of my lights. You know, I, the last thing I would ever want to do is like burn down the house at Christmas time. Yeah, yeah. And so I, the lights usually are only up for maybe two or three seasons. I get them down. I put them up, you know, and I get them down right after Christmas. So they're not out there in the weather too much. And yeah, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, Jimmy, yo, as promised. Oh, wait, I got to get into character. Oh, I know. What <sighs> it was brought up that. I may be a little David Letterman esque. You definitely are. <laughs> and with this, so we are going to go into the David Letterman style top 10 list. <laughs> okay. Is that how David Letterman laughed? Isn't that what he? That was close. He would have that. Know. He would have that. <laughs> that was. I don't know for sure. Laugh. So I am going to share my screen. Hopefully, people are still sticking around with this because this is not. This is not. The... Watch the video. Ver we'll still we'll still talk about it, but you got to watch the video version if you want to see the graphics and or the. Oh, here we go. We're, we got we got effects so happening. So we've got. I've decided right here the top ten list from the home office in Bisbee, Arizona. The top ten. Worst Christmas toy ideas. Hold on. Are these real ideas or are they not? <laughs> well, they're ideas that, you know, of toys you probably really wouldn't want in children's yeah. hands. You know, they, they were, they were brought up, you know, maybe in a corporate meeting or, or maybe they came out. Now, Jimmy, you're a toy guy. You may have even sold a few of these in the past. And, uh, maybe I saw them in the movie big when they were sitting around. The you room. might have. So here we go from the home office in Bisbee, right. Arizona. Top 10 worst Christmas toy Worst ideas. Christmas toy ideas. So what, you're starting at 10 and working your way to one, right? Just yes. Like we, all right. And I have to click over here on this screen. Just like okay. you used to do when you were on TV. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 worst Christmas toy ideas. Number 10, the Lego crack house. Number nine, Mattel's wet and wild Barbie brothel. What's happening here? Number eight, the littlest pet shop puppy mill artificial insemination playset. No. Number seven, WWE, my first brass knuckles. Number six, Dora the Explorer at home colonoscopy <laughs> kit. What? Why Dora? <laughs> She's an explorer. <laughs> Who else is better to explore? <laughs> Number five, let's play dress up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toxic waste containment hazmat suit. <laughs> Number four, the G.I. Joe Don't Ask, Don't Tell Foxhole Action Playset. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask, don't, that's so wrong. <laughs> Number three, Ronco's Rudolph and Friends Venison Jerky Food Hut Dehydrator. <laughs> Number two, My Little Pony Horse Shit Stable Scraping Set. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the number one, oh, she get a drum roll. Top 10 worst Christmas toy idea Transformers Erecticons. <laughs> More than meets the eye. <laughs> oh, so you're grounded. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> How about that one, Paul? <laughs> Transformers yeah. Erecticons. More than meets the eye. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. That's so we'll uh, go back into into drum roll you did there, and then I remembered you're a drummer. So we're gonna do uh we're gonna do a top ten list every week here in the month of December. 
I've got some other good fun ideas. Hopefully, people enjoyed that and we're we're Either here to the it end. Or we just lost subs and we're no longer we're never going to be monetized. One of the two. That, that could be. That I could think it was be. The GI Joe's oh, Fox hey. going to really do this. <laughs> <laughs> the Fox action playset. <laughs> so hey, tell us tell us what your favorite toy was on that list. Maybe you had one of those growing up. You know, <laughs> let There's us, some of them. I hope you did not. As, oh, you should see the list, the ones that didn't make the list, Jimmy. Maybe I'll share a couple of those. Yeah, here, a couple. Uh, some, what are they called? Uh, no, we're going to share those with you off the air. Honorable mentions. <laughs> we're going to share those with well, you off the well, air. Now the comments are really going to. Yes. The comments are going to go crazy because they're going to want to know what they are. Just, uh, I know, I know that they do, but uh, we don't want to get canceled, you know, <laughs> this 31 episodes in hey, 31 episodes and 200 subs. We don't want to get canceled, but I tell you, I cracked myself up working, working on this list, <laughs> uh, coming up with different things. So hopefully, hopefully everybody enjoyed that and, uh, stay so, tuned for next week. It's funny. Cause Ken comes up with all these ideas. Ken comes yes. up with all of them and then he gets really excited for the homework involved with them. <laughs> and then he sends me a message with my homework, and I'm like, I hate homework. <laughs> All you got to do is pick a Christmas movie, Jimmy. It's not that hard. Oh, <laughs> Just tell why you like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a lot of fun at the Christmas, the Christmas I holiday do. season. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about uh, getting out my wrapping table. We'll talk more about that in future episodes when I get it out, but I Wrapping built my table. own, my own specialized Christmas gift wrapping table that, uh, that I get out and I set up and, uh, each year. So would you say you a on it? <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, it does get me excited <laughs> when I get it out. So, <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, I I look forward to that. Yeah, oh, it's just it's just cool. I love wrapping presents. Do you like to wrap presents, Jimmy? Yeah, because I go here, Sonia. Thanks. Oh, so Sonia wraps no, them all for you. I does she wrap? Does she wrap her own gifts, or do you wrap them? No, I wrap hers. I so this is a story time. Yes, it's story time. Sonia, similar yes. to how she eats seafood, when okay. it's time to wrap presents, it's like this whirlwind of craziness down on the floor. Scissors are flying. Yes. Getting, and it's like, why are you sitting on the floor trying to wrap presents? Like, like you're 10. Uh-huh. And I'm like, and it's like this just stuff's flying everywhere. Bows and ribbon and it's just like pig pen from we've talked about this so me i don't mind it but i have like you said you use a table yes i i come downstairs to my shipping area and i wrap down here because i'm not like if i get down on the floor and try to wrap presents i'm never that's, getting up they're gonna you may to, you might as well sit like near the tree like under the tree because that's where jimmy's going to be for the rest of the season it's gonna be an old yeller moment they're gonna have to, <laughs> I mean, I'm not getting up. So, <laughs> hell, <Hell-A-M. but, laughs> <laughs> So, like, Sonia always wants to wrap presents like that, and so like yeah. I, mm-hmm. she ends up doing them all because it's like again, and I'm like, well, let's just bring them downstairs. And I'm like, I need a table. Like, I'm not trying to do all that. Yes. Well, I apologize to you, Jimmy. I don't know how handy of a guy that you are, but once Sonia sees my my wrapping table, you're gonna be you're gonna be building one. No, I just told you. You think so? You <laughs> but so, Sonia will be wrestling with the wrapping again this every she's, every year. Every year she's on the floor just. <laughs> And I like, bet what's happened. Like there was years like we're in our she's in our master bedroom closet, you know, when the uh-huh. kids were younger, 
and she's on the floor in there. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? But she's like, I, in case they come in the room or whatever. And I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's, I, I don't even want to go into the great scissor incident of like 1989, 1990, when a Jill was wrapping presents. I was I was at her house and she was she was a on the floor sort of a person back then too. And uh she's wrapping presents and then all of a sudden she can't find the scissors. Uh -oh. They gotta be they gotta be right around the area someplace. She had we still talk about it to this day. That was the first time this is like you know about a year maybe the next Christmas in our in our relationship. And she had a meltdown like you wouldn't believe. Now, she's not wrapping presents is not her favorite thing to do. She, right. she does it and she does a really good job at it. But when she couldn't find those scissors and they had basically just kind of got moved and they were under the bed and kind of got behind oh, something. I was, was going to ask, where were they? They were they were just like kind of under the bed skirt, you know, back yeah. back. They got pushed back a little bit. I tell you what total meltdown it was it was difficult you know that should have been a warning sign i should have probably <laughs> considered right there but uh it was <laughs> she uh warning, but she came through it but we, still, we still actually to this day like if if one of us starts to get you know a little bit heated about something it's like uh oh this isn't going to be another scissor incident is it <laughs> It's been that many, you know, 30 some years that, uh, since that happened, well, I thought you were going to say something like we never found the scissors. Now they, they were there, but it's just like, okay, calm down. They got it. You, you didn't move. You didn't get up. You didn't leave the room. They've got to be right here. Why are you so, why are you so upset about this? That's great. It's like. You know, and I'm great at finding things. That's one of my, that's like, if I had a, if I had a superpower, I am. If I had a superpower, it would be finding things. I am very good at deducing, like, a, even when somebody else has lost something, it's, you know, I can ask a few questions and then usually go right to the general area and, and find it. It's uncanny, uncanny, I tell you. <laughs> I'm going to give Jill some ammunition. Yeah, you can find everything except for the bottom step. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the great cabin incident of 2021. Great. 2022. Uh, yeah, Jill sent that. Jill, she's like, oh, here, film me real quick. I'm like, what are we filming? Oh. Uh. Oh, it's, the it's, for, for those of you listening, <laughs> we're not okay. film, you said, what are we filming? Uh, uh, the listeners are like, what the heck's going on? A little, a little bit of backstory. We had talked about this yeah, uh, when, <laughs> when Jimmy had came to visit here in Ohio for the Route 30 Lincoln Highway byway sales. And, and uh, they, they pull up in the driveway to, you know, to visit f for the week. And it's like, I'm standing on the porch and I go down to greet them and shake hands and give hugs because, you know, it's kind of, you know, greeting friends from all the way out in Colorado. I go to step off the bottom step at right onto the side of my ankle. Boom. Five minutes after they get there, I'm on the ground. They're drawing chalk lines. <laughs> it's just out of hand. So <laughs> this past weekend, we were out to the cabin again for Thanksgiving. And Jill's like, oh, here, we're on the front porch. She's like, here, film me for a second. Time. <laughs> and she's just. Sonya, this the other day was like, because she sent that. Jill sent uh -huh. that video. And Sonya like, man, I thought for sure he hurt himself really bad. And I was like, yeah. I did too. I thought we were going to be visiting Ken in the hospital the entire <laughs> time we were there. It probably needed medical attention, actually, <laughs> but it was just like, you know, I cinched the shoes up, up real tight. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I got home that night and I took my shoe off, it was about twice the size. 
<laughs> and I iced it down and, and, you know, every day it was just maintained. And of course, you know, you're there for yard sales all week. Right, and so, so it's like, and sightseeing and all of that. <laughs> and, and so everything we did was walking, walking, walking. So yep. I got, you know, braces, brace on it and, and since the <laughs> shoe up and, and just kind of maintain until oh, I could get home at night and then it would balloon back up again. And, but yeah, Jill, <laughs> Jill has a, a, a knack for, uh, embarrassing me and taking. So she sent that video. She reenacted her falling off the, the front steps and sent it to Jimmy and Sonia. Oh, shoot. Yeah. So. Oh, that's pretty funny. Oh man. I so, feel like I laughed this whole show. Yeah, this was this was a, a good show. We're getting uh, about to the end here. So look forward to next week. We'll have a, a new Jimmy. I'll give you your homework now because I messaged him this morning. Hey, did you remember that you're going to do a movie review? I hate homework. And uh, uh, so now you have it. a whole week to either watch a movie or review maybe. something. I'll, I'll try to watch something new. And maybe we'll have maybe we'll have some controversy. Maybe it'll be I, there's not many Christmas movies that I don't like, but there are some out there that I'm not a big fan of. Maybe some that are over overhyped and yeah, and yeah. Uh, so we'll we'll right. see where where we're at with that. Of course, I'll have a new top ten list, and uh, so Ooh. throw down there in the comments. Again, anything that you saw on the show here this week, if you want to weigh in on your favorite version of Christmas Carol, how many candy canes you would rate it, yeah, and uh, what your what your favorite item is, uh, what you think would be the biggest bolo off of the the top ten worst Christmas toy ideas. And let us know what you think about the thumbnail. Yeah, so we can't forget about the little. Guy That's right. That was talking. See, smack see we were laughing and having so much fun this episode i forgot that it's on it's on that's it it's so on right now think about that thumbnail so, and, and make sure you go over to dave and carrie's pages and the trash to cash and just flood their flood their comments with uh you know support i might have just had a great idea podcast. I might have uh, just had a great idea is this an on air discussion no, I, no. Okay. So you were about to end the show. We'll talk about it, but to coming soon. Aha. Uh -huh. We'll leave that with the suspense. So catch us next time on the Reseller Clickbait Podcast.